Jess, thanks so much. Time now for our healthy living segment. Owner uh, of Fat Dad Health, Eric Stratman, back with us on this Saturday morning. Eric, thank you so much for waking up with us. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, so this morning, you know, a lot of people for their New Year's resolution, January 1 hits, uh, and they say to themselves, this is the year I'm getting into shape. Mm -hmm. You know, the most popular New Year's resolution. Yeah. Now we're what, February 19th? Yeah, we're uh, well, we're almost done, wow. yeah. actually. Wow. So yeah. six, seven weeks into the new year, and this is the time, a lot of people say, well, okay, well, that was, that was nice. That was fun. Uh, see well, you next know, January. It, it'll, it, it'll be fine. I was Monday through Friday. Now maybe just Monday, Tuesday. We'll kind of see how the week goes. Yeah. Uh, this is that time that people fall off track, but we need to get people encouraged mm -hmm. to, to stay with their programs if that's what they want to do. But how do they do that? You can do it. <laughs> uh, no, it's... It, it, Is it telepathy? Yes. <laughs> We're going to just drill you in. But it, it's really that perspective to say, what am I going to do that is going to match up with my lifestyle? Because it's easy for anybody to approach it on, in January and have that 180 from what they were doing in November or December and go, okay, I'm going to eat perfect, you know, every day. I'm going to work out an hour and a half. I'm going to do it. Well, we know, like, Super Bowl time hits this time in February. Everybody's like, man... This is terrible. I don't like doing this at all. See you next January. I'm out. Instead of saying, well, let me take that approach right from the beginning. And even if that's starting over now and you're getting into a rhythm that you're putting in 15 to 30 minutes of exercise a day, not you have to do an hour and a half. If you get that hour every once in a while, great. But if you're doing something, it's better than nothing because it all adds up. Same thing with your calories. If you have foods you enjoy, how many calories are you actually eating? Are you paying attention to that? Because you can have burgers and chips and fries and these other things that you enjoy, but what are you having around that? Because we don't want to have like burgers and fries three times a day. If that's like your lunch a couple days a week, let's moderate the calories before and after that. So you can still have the options you enjoy without feeling like I have to either have none of it or have all of it and just go off the rails. So whether you're discouraged or you're like still on it and ready to go, is there, are there signs that people are on the right track? You know, like how would I know if I've been working out for a while or, or eating healthy or what have you, how do I know that I'm even doing it right? If I'm not a losing weight or I'm not seeing like a physical difference. Just hope you're getting good results then. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you, you know, the, the scale is one way, you know, obviously we, but too many people are tied to the scale. I know we talked about this in the last segment that if you just tie your results and your worth to the scale, there's, there's a problem there. So we like to have people do uh, measurements of their chest, waist, and hips weekly and weigh in weekly at a Wednesday or Thursday because that's when your, your body's regulated. Do it first thing in the morning before you eat or drink anything. Uh, and that way you get into that rhythm once a week to see where you're going. Obviously, clothes fitting better, having higher energy, sleeping better, that's where you know you're having progress. If you're seeing those things go backwards, then you know that there's a problem somewhere in your routine. Are you getting enough sleep? Are you drinking enough water? Are you consuming too much alcohol? I mean, there's a lot of things that go into it, but that's you know, uh, one of the basis of when we start somebody out with our program is that they're logging things because we want to know. Because if you're logging it, then you can look back the past few days and say, what have I been doing different or what, I've, what have I done over the last two weeks that's getting me good results or I've stalled out, I've plateaued, where am I at, How, what do I need to change? So that's something that, you know, we, we want everybody to have that encouragement that as long as you're pushing forward and, and you're continuing to just put a little bit of effort in, you can see great results. Because as we talked about, you know, many times before, if you're 1% better, because if you're thinking, hey, I'm getting 1% better every single week, if I'm losing one pound a week or I'm losing a half a pound a week, that's going to equal 50 to 25 pounds at the end of the year. Nobody's going to be disappointed losing 50 or 25 pounds this year and Definitely. not have to re restart in January. All right. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. So instead of getting discouraged, get a little proactive. And if you need to reach out for help, Eric's here. This guy right here. All right. We're approaching.